Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do another daily vibe for today just because I want to see if I just want to. <laughs> so we're going to go with that. Something is not coming together by the looks of things. Big mess, big mess. Let's see if we can get this right. Let's see if we can get this right. Every word that comes out of my message is a, is a mess. See, I can't even talk. Every word that comes out of my mouth is a message. Something has been a big mess. Let's see if we can get this right. I'm speechless. I can't even speak. I don't know what to say. The words just aren't coming out right. This is for all signs. It may not be for you. It's not a private reading. Some days the dailies will be for you. Some days they won't. Let's see if we can get this right. Will you forgive me? Can you forgive me? Somebody may want a reconciliation, but forgiveness is needed. I don't know. There's been a lack of appreciation, a lack of respect, lack of somebody putting in effort, lack of communication. Going through some getting bad luck because of something. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune reverse is uh, shit rolling downhill. Dose of bad luck, one right after another. Somebody trying to fight destiny. Oh, well. The Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a goal. She got a golden opportunity in her hand. She's stable, secure, solid, loyal, grounded. <laughs> uh, somebody may be wanting to revive something. Go back to somebody they didn't appreciate. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, somebody may be wanting to revive, you know, come out of this period of exhaustion. You know, I can't stay here any longer. I'm sick of it. Ooh, the lovers reverse. They may have gotten themselves involved in a false contract, right? A, a false contract, something that wasn't compatible, something that wasn't... You know, there, was, there wasn't a lot of attraction there, whatever it is, but there's just an incompatible love connection here. But it looks like somebody is ending it because this is a, the ending of a contract. Now this was reversed. We're going to leave it reversed, but I just picked it up and it's upright. So somebody wants a reconciliation. They want another chance, but forgiveness is needed. And I think that they're afraid that they won't be forgiven and there's a you know I don't know I really don't know if she can forgive she's this woman or whoever it is is very stubborn very stubborn and she knows what she's worth she's she's got you know she's stable she's secure she's wise she's grounded she don't live in fantasy land so there's an end of one contract. Something has died. One, one, it looks like it was a karmic contract by the sounds of things, or the looks of things. Because this is a card of karma. Looks like there's a karmic contract that has ended. And perhaps somebody wants to go back, because this is going backwards, the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Somebody wants to go back to somebody that they didn't appreciate, but they're afraid that they won't be forgiven. Oh, jeez, um... Well, I don't know. You're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, come on now. This ain't fucking fantasy land. Um, she wants stability. This person is all about stability and security and loyalty.
there's been a lot of criticism. There's been a, somebody misjudged a situation. They misjudged what they had. They misjudged the good fortune they had from another person. They weren't aware of what this person had to offer. They weren't aware of all the good things this person, all the effort this person put in. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, Jesus. So we have a couple karma, 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 karma. These are both cards of karma. Somebody wasn't treated. I mean, justice is the justice system. It's about being fair and just coming up with a fair and just decision. You know, it's reversed. Somebody was not treated fairly and somebody is realizing that there was some lies. There was some deception that somebody was didn't want to be held accountable for their actions. Somebody didn't put in the effort. And they may have wasted their time. <laughs> now it's like it's time to pick. It's time to pick. It's time to, to do what you got to do. It's like climb that ladder and pick off what's your pick. What you can take, what you take, what you can get. For somebody else comes along and picks it. Because if you see something growing on a tree that's that worthy, don't you think somebody else ain't going to come along and pick it? Because they absolutely are. If you see this amount of abundance growing on a tree and you don't pick it, you can bet your ass somebody else coming along is going to pick it. There's no doubt. Somebody is making a decision. They are. The decision is being made. And we have all these sevens. Seven, 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 seven. Seven, seven. Whose number is that? Whose number is that? Somebody is making a decision in regards to some sort of opportunity that they may have not put effort into in the past they didn't appreciate oh my goodness they misjudged they were they were overly critical of somebody who was very loyal. <laughs> Solid, stable, secure. Nurturing. But they didn't want to be honest. They didn't want to be held accountable. They didn't treat this person fairly. And now it's like they are making a decision. And it's divinely guided because of these sevens. The seven is the number from heaven. It's a divinely guided decision is being made in regards to love. A contract that has ended. And I feel as though this person is ready to revive. Revive something that go back. Yeah, see what's mirroring each other. Somebody wants to revive a connection a contract that has died and i think what has happened is another contract has ended because the lovers is a choice between two i think one contract has ended and somebody wants to go back to another contract now they appreciate who this person was god jeez i'm crow so we have somebody is making a decision in regards to love they acted naive, they acted recklessly, but they are still afraid to take a risk. Somebody is still afraid to take a risk. They want a fresh start, but they don't dare. They don't dare.
they have been distracted, but they want this new partnership. They want to revive it. They want to relight that spark. He's got the Ace of Wands in his hands. So somebody is wanting to... Oh, it looks like start over. This person is trying to stay focused. And I think, I mean, these, where's the seeds? Where's the seeds? Right here. These are the seeds and these are the seeds as well. It's like the seeds that were planted a long time ago are, are like ready to be harvested. It's like harvest time or something like that. Something is coming to fruition that has been going on for a long time, maybe 10 years. What is it? What is it? Yeah, 10 years. So, um, <laughs> somebody may be headed in your direction with a new offer. You know, a revival of some sort. I don't know what the hell this is. But this person is scared, but it looks like they're gaining confidence. They're gaining their confidence. But they're still fearful. <laughs> they are fearful. Um, it's as though you may receive some sort of message from somebody that excites you. But this person that is coming in is... afraid so somebody they're afraid they are absolutely afraid to take a risk but they really are they really want to they want to they're excited they're they're excited about it they they're they're gaining their confidence interesting because they they want to they want this is the love marriage commitment um happiness somebody is headed towards Maybe even proposing. I mean, this is like a marriage. It's like a... It is. So somebody could be coming with an offer, you know. But they're scared. They're definitely scared. They're scared of rejection. But it looks like this is a... It's a love connection. It absolutely is. This is 11-11. This is like a, a soulmate connection. And I think this person, whoever it is sees that and they want it back they want it back but you know they they didn't this isn't they didn't treat somebody fairly i think this is somebody from from the past i, I just do i think there's somebody from the past who didn't want to be held accountable and they've been served a dose of karma bad karma okay these three cards they've got uh, some they've got themselves a dose of bad karma whether it's been financial loss or whatever it is they've gotten themselves a big old kick in the ass and now um they realize what this opportunity the opportunity that they had how good they had it how good they had it and it was destiny it was destiny because the wheel of fortune is destiny and they they well, they want their they want it back but free will plays a part and this person you know, needed to go through some sort of karma to wake them up of some sort. Um, and now it's like they are making a conscious change to drop a burden, drop some baggage, to come clean perhaps because this is going to drop away and this guy is going to be free to do whatever he wants. This person's life was turned upside down by living in denial, you know. But it looks like there's some sort of completion here, that uh, an ending that is, that they have probably ended something that, because they know that where their destiny is. So I don't know what this is, but I think that there's an, there's a completion here with these tens. Okay, these are both tens. There's a completion of one cycle, a karmic cycle. Okay, karma, 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 destiny. A karma, and these are all reversed. This was a bad one. Okay, it was a, it was a karmic cycle that wasn't meant to last. It wasn't. It was the lesson. Okay, it was a lesson, and this lesson has now been learned, and now we have this person that is 
probably going to be coming in with a message, an exciting message that, oh God, they want to marry you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Or they, you know, love you. They want to be with you. They want to, they want to be with you. They want to have a, fa they want to build a foundation with you. They want to be with you. I don't know who this is for. I really don't, but. Looks like somebody has made a decision to end one karmic contract and head in the direction of their destiny. And it looks like it's going back, going back to somebody that they hurt. Yeah, I want this love back. I want this love back. I missed this opportunity and I don't want to let it go. I want this love back. So somebody is wanting the foundation that fell apart back and... You know, they got to communicate. They got to communicate. So I don't know if they will. It's, will they communicate? Will this person actually follow through? This is about following through with your plans. This guy, this person is thinking about following through, but he's really afraid of... You got that, that blonde hair. He's really afraid of rejection. He's really afraid of taking this risk. What's going to happen here? Ooh! See, there's that eight, that new opportunity. That eight, and he, I told you that's what he was holding, the new opportunity. So there's an opportunity for this flame to be relit. A new, a new flame. Uh, this is a spark for the spark to um, come alive. To come alive. And this is be. This is like these are like the hands, the hands of God that's saying, "Here you go. Here's your new opportunity. It's your new opportunity for growth. It's your new opportunity for excitement." So, we have a new uh, partnership on the horizon, and it, I don't know who it's for, but it looks like it's exciting. It looks like it has a lot of opportunity for growth and excitement and passion. And it's like all of a sudden there's this this offer of love that is coming in from somebody that is going to, I, for lack of a better word, leave you speechless. Remember I said speechless, I'm speechless. I, I am absolutely 100% speechless, speechless because it feels as though this person not, thought it was never going to come, thought it was never going to arrive, but now this person is... not wanting to let them go they don't want to let them go somebody doesn't want to let them go can't let go i can't let go of this flame i can't let go of this flame now you know i don't like to use the word but um oh jesus christ it's like it's a twin flame connection and I don't, this is twin flame, and this is a, it's like, this is a twin flame connection. I hate, I hate it. I hate to use that term, because I don't believe that there's certain people on, you get to be in a twin flame, and I don't, you know, I don't believe, and I'm not saying that for myself, You're, you know, there's only certain people that are on a twin flame journey. I don't think so. I don't think so. Everybody is equal. We're all equal. God, universe, doesn't just pick you. They don't just say, okay, you're the special one. No, no. Everybody has the opportunity, and that's why I don't use that. And it's not, and I consider twin flame a soulmate. Life partner. This is a connection that is undeniable. It's beyond words. It's, uh... It can't be denied, okay? So we have somebody that is wanting to revive a quotation marks twin flame connection. It's real. And this person has probably ended their karmic and they want you back. So for those of you that don't know about Twin Flames, it's, it's to me, and I don't want to hear any bullshit underneath about what you know. To me, 
it's a it's a life partner soulmate connection that can never be denied it's the truest form of love that you can even imagine that's what it is to me and i don't think that certain people get to be on this journey no no it's for everybody this is a twin flame connection that is meant to be in which somebody is releasing their karmic and going back to their true love and that's what I see it pains me to say these words it does because I don't advocate for holding on to somebody that is sleeping with another person But there's a contract that has ended, and it's a karmic one. Karma, karma, karma. Because we have a twin flame connection that, it is, this is the flame, it's, it's the truth. That is meant to be. And it looks as though there is somebody that is fearful of rejection, but they're going to find their confidence to come with an offer. This will not be for every single one of you watching this. Keep that in mind. Because we're all at different levels. We're all at different stages. Some people are cowards. I mean, this the straight reverse is coward. For fear of rejection. Can't face my fear. So we do have a coward in the mix here. Whether they were a coward before and now they're finding their strength, I don't know. There's definitely a coward somewhere in the mix where they, they, they were a coward. But they're releasing. They're releasing. And, you know, want to wanna, wanna rebuild that foundation. Will it be accepted? <laughs> Will it be accepted? Will it be accepted? Will this new offer be accepted? Yes, please. No, I didn't. What? Those words just came out of my mouth. Oh, oh God. I'm not even going to get a card. I mean, I guess I will get a card, but I don't need to get a card. Oh, Jesus. So that's what I have for my second reading. I don't know who this reading is for. Do not get your hopes up, please. This reading is for somebody. Not everybody. Good luck.